Hey guys, welcome to Non Central. Today we are going to be making waffles from scratch. We're going to start off by measuring our dry ingredients by weight. I do this for two reasons. First of all, it's more accurate than measuring using a measuring cup. And second of all, it dirties less dishes. First thing we need to weigh is our flour. I'm using double zero flour just because that's what I had left and I was trying to finish it. But you could obviously just use all purpose flour instead. And once we've zeroed out our scale, the next thing we're going to add is our cornstarch, which I keep in a gelato container for some reason. Then I'm going to bust out my mini scale to measure the salt, baking powder, and baking soda. You obviously don't need to do this. I would honestly just recommend using teaspoons for this. Then we're going to take our concoction of dry chemical compounds and add it into the rest of our dry ingredients. And we're going to give that an aggressive whisking just to incorporate all the ingredients together. The next order of business is addressing the wet ingredients, the first of which is going to be a separated egg, which is honestly an optional step. If you'd like, you can just put the entire egg. If you end up with a stubborn egg white like I had here, don't worry about it too much. It's better to just put that with the egg yolk than to accidentally puncture the yolk and get some yolk into the egg whites because then the egg whites won't beat properly. Then to our egg yolk, we're going to add in our milk. Then we're going to add in our buttermilk, but in this case I'm just using yogurt thinned out with water because I don't usually buy buttermilk. If that's what you have though, it'll actually work better than just the yogurt in the water. So I'll include the ingredient amounts for both buttermilk and yogurt and water if that's what you want to use instead. You may be wondering why I'm pouring the water from so high up and the answer is because I was embarrassed that I was pouring water from one measuring cup into another. Next thing we're going to add is some kind of oil. I'm using olive oil here but you could just use vegetable or canola oil. And don't be surprised by the amount that's in here because we need it to get the waffles nice and crispy. Then we're going to try and mix that together as best as we can, which is going to be a little bit difficult given the small size of the container. But just keep going at it until you don't see a pool of oil on the top anymore and you end up with a smooth, consistent mixture. And now on to what is in my opinion a completely unnecessary step, which is beating the egg whites. I'd honestly just recommend adding the entire egg into the wet ingredients. And if you do end up beating your egg whites, I'd recommend using an electric mixer unless you want to stand around whisking for 5 minutes. Once our egg whites have achieved the floppy peak stage, we're going to add in our sugar, which again I'm doing by weight, but you could honestly just measure it with a tablespoon. And then we return to whisking, which we're going to do until we achieve some stiffer peaks. And once it gets to that stage, we're going to add in our vanilla extract. Once we've saved our bowl from tipping over, we're going to whisk just a little bit more to incorporate the vanilla. Next, we're going to add our wet ingredients into the dry and give that a cursory mix. And we want to take care not to overmix and develop too much gluten. We just want to go until we can't see any more flour, but the batter will still be lumpy. Friendship ended with a whisk, now rubber spoonula is my best friend. Using the rubber spoonula, we're going to add in our egg whites in two additions. The first time we can be a little bit more aggressive and just try and incorporate that in, but the second addition needs to be a little bit more gentle. Once the batter is done, it should look a little something like this. Just keep in mind, if you didn't beat the egg whites, it won't be quite as airy.
all we have left to do now is to sloppily add our waffle mix into our waffle iron which I would honestly recommend not doing with your rubber spoonie line instead using a quarter cup measure. And once the waffles are nice and golden brown like this, we can evacuate them onto a cooling rack, preferably not using our hands. Um, you should probably just use a fork or something like that. But there you have it, waffles from scratch. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.